We're Steve and Gokche. After 30 hours of travel, we landed in Melbourne and decided to rent a car to see one of Australia's most famous attractions, the Great Ocean Road. It's just breathtaking. It's so beautiful. Good morning, everybody. Today is our bright and early wake up call because we are headed off to the Great Ocean Road. It is definitely one of the things when we came to Melbourne that I 100% wanted to do with Gokche. And it's going to be my first time driving on the wrong or right. <laughs> side of the road, depending on who you ask. Thanks. Let's get ready, grab some coffee, and head downstairs to the car. Oh my god, are we ready? Uh, only one way to find out. I have already went on the wrong side of the road, almost. So uh, we're gonna make a left now, and I hope to stay where I'm supposed to. It's just gonna follow cars. That's the yep, literally just follow. This plum crystals, we are number one in the number two business. Oh my god. This Which ocean? Great ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the great ocean is the road. It's the southern ocean. If you kept going south, you'd hit Antarctica. We got to Bell's Beach right now. It's known to be a very popular spot for surfers. We actually filmed some of the surfers coming out of the car with their big surfboards and then they went down the hill, but since it's very cool, we didn't want to follow them. <laughs> Gokji made it a bit far down and it, yeah, it's just windy and as soon as she got back up it started raining again so we had to hop back in our car and get warm. I think the sun is coming out a little bit. Maybe yeah, little yeah, little. it is coming out. Definitely get out early, beat the tour groups, they're leaving now and we only had 10 other cars here so it was great at Bells Beach now on to Teddy's Lookout. We're going to Lorne and it's a spot along the way to Lorne called Teddy's Lookout which is supposed to have like this really beautiful scenic Look out all along the Great Ocean Road. You saw a sign where it says, Be aware of Kangaroo. <laughs> I want to see you fighting with a Kangaroo. That would be fun. Why on earth would I fight a Kangaroo? I don't know. We just want to watch. I am not down. So, up ahead is the start of the actual Great Ocean Road where they demarcated it. It was actually built after World War I when everybody came back from Turkey, all the soldiers from Australia, from Chinakale, and were like, this is amazing. We need to build something exactly like this along Australia's southern coast. And Gokche is laughing at me right now, but that's actually pretty much what happened. It is, in fact, a World War I memorial built after World War I, and Australia, of course, did a lot of fighting alongside the British in Turkey. So. I might be joking a little bit, but like it's possible that they were inspired by Chinakale and the beautiful Turkish coast. We were so lucky because we had the whole entrance of the old Great Ocean Road sign just to ourselves. If you get there before the tour groups, you're golden. Oh my god, look at this amazing So we made it to Teddy's Lookout and we are one of three cars here and I believe once we get a bit further up we will see an amazing clearing well up above the uh, Great Ocean Road in the Southern Ocean. I have them. <laughs> Sponsor a choke this out, didn't <laughs> It's amazing, but you can see my hair. It's like uncontrollable here. The wind is really blowing hard up here, and the view is absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> I can't believe there's a place that's like this. It's, it's really, you have to really be here to see it and believe it. It's, it's, it's outstanding. Really nice. <laughs> Coach Chase's hair is also really <laughs> nice right now. Maybe we'll get that under my control a little bit later. Control. 
but definitely come to Teddy's Lookout, come by yourself, avoid the Tory groups, it's really beautiful up here. And now we're gonna go find some coffee because we've been up since 4.30 in the morning. It was crazy early, but so worth it. You, of course, have to come to Teddy's Lookout yeah. if you're gonna do the Great Ocean Road. And now let's try to find a good coffee stop uh, along the way to get re-energized. Yeah, we definitely need some coffee right now. So naturally, Gokche found the one restaurant in all of Lorne that is Greek and Turkish, and it has Turkish pizza. I just can't help myself. I literally detect all the Greeks and Turks. I'm just gonna have some coffee now, and then probably go down the hill. It's just like such a cute beach town. Today. This is incredible. Oh my god. Hamido! <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> We're going to Kennet River right now. And this is an area where there are koalas in the trees. People who visit Melbourne for extended periods of time say this is one of the few places where they actually see them. So it's a popular stop along the way of the Great Ocean Road. And Gokchi has already found some ducks chilling on the side of the road over here. I guess they're napping. I wonder if they are as cute as they are in my house. Oh. So we see people up ahead. We're gonna go over there because generally speaking, where there's people, koalas have been spotted. Here you are, you little koala. Oh, yeah, yeah, more a little. Do some this. Are they mating? She's really running away. Hey look, you guys are moving. The ducks are so tired of these birds mating. They're out of here. There's so many different places to stop by along the Great Ocean Road, but for doing it for a day, you know, you can certainly hit all the main sites. Now we are actually on the way to our last stop. Twelve Apostles is very far from Apollo Bay. It's well over an hour, so free plan and prepare for that. I did not. So Gok and I finally made it to the Twelve Apostles. A little late, but uh, so we're gonna have to rush a little bit, and it's the most famous attraction on the Great Ocean Road. Just some fun facts, there's not actually 12 apostles. Right, Goke? Yeah, I didn't count them. <laughs> <laughs> there were eight and seven are remaining because one kind of unfortunately collapsed due to the weather erosion. And then they were not called the 12 apostles originally. I don't know if Goke knows what they were called, but they were called the pig and the sows. But pig naturally, and what? pig and the sows. So, <laughs> So we came back once more, because Gokche cannot leave without going fully around. Because when she came here, she legit cried over the beauty of the 12 apostles. It really is amazing, like, that, like, this beauty just exists naturally on the earth. I just want to say that it's just incredible. It's so beautiful. I really hope that everyone gets to see this. It's like, it's surreal. So I'd say this whole self-driving the Great Ocean Road is probably well worth it. Gokche had us come back to see the Twelve Apostles one more time. <laughs> Something was like telling me that I should come back and just like take it all in. So much to see out there. I really hope that everyone gets to see this. This is just breathtaking. It's so beautiful.